Hey guys, welcome back to Lost Ranch Garage. We are going to cover the dash with a wrap. Hang around. This is what the plan is. The veneer that is on here. Oops, sorry about that. I need to move that. Okay, the veneer that was on the dashboard was very deteriorated. Pieces were missing. It was peeling away, so I peeled it all off. I did sand this down all the way down to like 300 grit, so it's, it's smooth, but it's still porous a little bit. But I'm kind of uh, wanting to know, uh, hopefully it will stick to adhere to it, but we're going with this... Uh, it is a like a knotty rosewood type pattern and uh, the plan is to uh, save enough of this along the wrong end to where I can do the top of my of the doors uh, as you can see there is plenty of material probably about half that I could do that with. So the first thing I'm going to do is I need to uh, slice this down the the middle. Maybe just give it a little bit more than what I need. Uh, it is plenty long enough to do the whole dashboard. Uh, and then we'll get to the top of the door pa door panel. I need to pull that off and prep it and all that. So that might be in the next in a second video. Uh, I don't know how long this video will take, but we'll just take and do one panel first, just in case uh, I will need to reuse, and then we'll ditch the door panels for now, and I'll order some more. Uh, cause they have, this is the tall foot and a half and then they have one that's like 11 inches and I can order that just to take care of the doors. But so let's see what we need to get up to here. I'm going to try and roll this out cause it's, uh, pretty cold. Me like a dummy. I put it out here in the garage, got it yesterday, I put it out here in the garage, and it's cold, so <laughs> don't have the heat on out here, so what I want to do is try to warm this up to get it to where it will lay flat, I do have, this is a regular heat gun, you can use a hair dryer, I just, I don't want to heat it up too much, because it will activate the, the glue. I should have just waited to make this video when, and took it into the house and Let it get, get up the temperature. Okay, I got it as close as I could. Uh, she's still kind of cold and stiff. But we're going to uh, want to cut this down the center. But first, I want to mark uh, where we want to cut. And if we're going to have plenty of room, which I need to move these down. Okay. 
which that is fine. Yeah, I was I was thinking about putting new veneer on, but the cost of veneer and a and a nice veneer like a naughty, all that is expensive. It's like anywhere from forty dollars or so, if I recall, on up. But so that's where we're at. I am going to take and uh, grab my sharpie and mark on the back side. Uh, I can mark right here because we're trim. Let's uh, let's do this a little bit more. Let's get a tape measure just to be positive of where I'm going to be. We'll burn an inch, inch and a half, and that would be plenty to do the doors. So, right there is about 10 inches. We're looking at a total, total width, 18 inches. So, uh, yeah, if I go 10 inches, that'll leave four, four inches and do both. I'm hoping that would be enough. I don't know. We'll find out. But, so we'll go. 10 inches where we want to be and I'll mark up 10 inches on this side this end flip it over mark a couple more get a straight edge and run the line and then cut Okay, so that's where we're at now. And this is the piece we are wanting. That's the piece that we are going to set back. So I'll roll that up and put it away. Out of harm's reach. Set my anchors, get rid of the straight edge. Move that up a little bit. And as you've seen, I've I brought this in a little bit from the edge, and we still got well, two to three, about three inches, two and a half, three inches over here. So uh, we are going to just open these gaps a little bit. So where I can cut, and then I'll have separate pan, separate vinyl for each panel so I'm gonna make a mark here and here here and here pull the pieces away straight edge cut it and then we'll get to uh, starting one piece and I'll bring you back when we're ready to do that well I cut those pieces we're gonna do this one because uh, it's the shorter of the two and plus, if I need to buy more material, I know I need to buy, you know, I need uh, to get the skinnier piece. But, so, what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to peel this back, flip it over, and start applying it to the the dash this is really smooth but I'm, like I'm saying I'm hoping that there's a few little rough spots there that will poke through but the screws may cover that I may hit that with a little bit of sandpaper or something just to make that smoother before I apply it uh, but the uh, 
the screws have like a little backer so that may cover that I'm hoping but the rest of it feels real good so let's let's give it a go all you all I can do is screw up right You never know unless you try. That's what my old man always told me. He says you'll never find out unless you, if you can do it unless you try. So. Now I don't want it to roll back in on itself. So. What do I need to do here? Are we going to cover everything? Yeah, we are. Good. Now, I took a putty knife and just put some tape on it. It's a brand new putty knife, but I was just being safe so I don't scratch the, uh, the vinyl. <laughs> like I said, I'm learning. I've never done this. I mean, I've, I've put in window tin on cars before. Now, let's put this on low. And I'm keeping it far enough away to where I can feel the heat. And you can see where it, how it's taking shape and shrinking to it. You want that glue to start activating. You don't want to hold it in one spot too dang long. pretty good definitely sticking to the cloth I got down oh that takes a little bit to get it to pull up oh definitely definitely takes a bit to get it to pull away from the wood so I think we might be we might be good like it now the next thing would be to cut out all these sections I thought about wrapping it around but that these edges are not smooth they are very very porous those are the ends of the the plies so I didn't want to do that so what I'll do now is just take my time uh, I did have a 
real fine exacto knife so I can get down in these small holes for the lights. Uh, what I'm thinking I may have to do, now that I'm thinking about it, is these screws, holes, I'm, I may just have to take the razor blade and cut a little X in there just so the screw has a place to go through and it won't harm the vinyl too bad. Uh, and then I'm going to move on, move on after cutting this out as best as I can to the next piece. Uh, so uh, let's do a time lapse. Me doing that. Okay, we got that far. Uh, as you can see on the back side, there's three holes for the lights. Uh, so what I am going to attempt to do is try and cut them like I did these, which the bezels from the gauges sit on the outside and you won't see that. So, and then the, ga the, the instrument gauge cluster is, uh, it's in behind, so I may have to do a little bit more playing around, but uh, it should look pretty good because it screws in the back, it sits up against the back. I don't, I don't know, maybe come up with some sort of trim that goes around that but I think that is looking pretty dang good uh, what I am needing to do now is just keep at it and do uh, the other sections and you want to have let's say this section I have this piece that goes with it Where, where you made the slice at, which is here, um, you're gonna, it will, you want it, once you flip it over, see what I'm saying? It changes. Uh, and I didn't think of that until afterwards besides the point because do I even got the right piece let me look at this other one because they, they the grains should match up yeah this is yeah I got a mix I think I had them mixed up because I trimmed off so much off this side um, there's really no really no way around that uh <laughs> yeah yeah emotional damn it what can you fucking do oh well uh all i can do is try and keep see that is not for that that is for that is for this piece What I do wrong, guys. That's why, you know, like I said, I'm I'm just learning to do this myself. So, if it was like that, that would be like that. This would be like so. this down so my vice is in the way so 
See that? So that would be like that. But that don't make sense. That's not the way I cut it. We cut it this direction. No, we cut it like that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, we cut it like that. Face up. Exactly like that. And then this would have been here like that. So it should, the grain here flipped over should match this grain. But it does not. So it's going to look a little, it's going to look a little weird. I'll be back. Phone's ringing. Yeah, what do you want? <laughs> Don't laugh, Arlene. I ain't got time for that shit. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. I guess, guys, it is what it is, huh? Uh, it's not a perfect, uh, 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 it's not going to be a perfect uh, build. It's a budget build. So, let me keep at this. I think I'm just going to have to lay it out, smooth it on, cut it out, and it's just going to have, it's going to be what it's going to be. Okay, guys. I am happy with what we got. It's going to have to do with what it's going to do. Uh, it kind of blends in we can get in closer, maybe. Take you off the tripod. Uh, come on, let go. There you go. As you can see, the grains get glare away, but the grains do kind of match, so it's not too bad. I tried to get this one even closer, which it kind of does. It matches up here. You know, it is what it is, but from what... I see. I like it. Uh, I'm kind of, I was kind of thinking when I was doing this, uh, I'm kind of wondering how this will hold up in, in direct sunlight. Um, the heat is what it here's to, makes it adhere. Why wouldn't the sun, I mean, if it gets too hot, you know, I don't know. We'll find out in the future how long, how it's going to last, especially on the door uh, upper trim. But I still got some holes to put in, you know, the light holes and stuff. Uh, but, hey, it is what it is. Well, guys, there you go. Uh, I kind of like it. I, I really do. It's made it cheap. Uh when, you know, the, the naughty, this is a cherry naughty pine, or cherry naughty wood, uh, in a, 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 a satin, it's not high gloss, it's a satin, I don't want something that's flashy, the car ain't going to be flashy, so, but uh, as for those door tops, I need to remove the door cards to get those tops off, and I think I might just do that in another video uh, if you guys are interested in seeing that and how that how that would be done if you want to do it that way uh, but this stuff it is uh, it is called is from uh, vivid the XPO series um, it's a 3m Oracle backing uh, so 3M, we're talking pretty decent stuff, you know. Um, it applied very nice, but like I, you've seen in the video, I messed up. It is what it is, but I kind of like the way it's, it came out. Um, if I need to, I can just pull it back off. Put, get new, put new on. And do, it, do it the correct way. We'll see what happens. I mean, for the cost of I got it off of Amazon. It was uh, $14 with free shipping through Prime. 
where it came to go because the veneer to have a, a this type of wood a, a, you know, like a cherry a, a naughty cherry type wood veneer you're talking big bucks and they're talking I was seeing some going for this because I like that look uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, it was going for seventy-five to a hundred dollars or so, somewhere in there. I guess it depends you who you buy it from. And then you got one shot. You got to do it right, you know. Put it on there. And I'm not a woodworker. I'm just a redneck out in the woods working on a freaking trying <laughs> cars and bikes. But yeah, kind of guys let you know. Hey, I opened up members only. You guys can go check that out. Uh, you get, you'll get a lot of stuff. Uh, I can even give away free uh, members-only packages once a month, uh, but I can only do that through live chats, live streams. So, uh, for members-only, you can come in and check it out. You know, uh, I have three different tiers. There's a cheap tier and on up is the top tier. You get everything that you want to do. And then uh, uh, so that helps out the channel. The members on, you know, it goes everything, all that money will go back into the channel for you know stuff like this. For me to make content for you to learn and helps me out and it just I, I don't like begging. I never really did, but now it's starting to get to the point to where, hey, I need a little help. But uh, there's also a Patreon account down there. If you want to become a patron, I will uh, be doing Patreon-only videos, which will fall in lines with the YouTube membership. So either way, you get to see the same video before anybody else does. And I also have Buy Me a Coffee. It's really buy me a beer, but it's called buy me a coffee. Um, there's different price ranges. You can just one time, if you like the stuff, help me out just to say thanks. And also there's super thanks. You can also, you go down into where the three dots are. If it doesn't show at the bottom where it says thanks and the little tab, you can go to the three little dots, open that up and it will say thanks. You click on that and you can just make a little donation or whatever you want to do towards the channel. It would be all appreciated, I tell you right now. Uh, through since Christmas and the different projects that's going on, uh, work has slowed down for me. I've been off all this week. I've been off since uh, last Friday. And today's Thursday. So, uh, it's just lack of work, but things are going to start picking up, he says, for next week. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Every little bit helps. So if you guys want to help out with the channel, you'll get all kinds of perks. Uh, but yeah, hey, why don't you consider clicking the subscribe button? We hit 2,000. We hit 2,000 subscribers. Hit that this morning. I was really, really su surprised. And for some reason, one of my videos has taken off. And hey, yeah. Uh, so we're going to do a giveaway. Keep your eyes open for that. Um, but yeah, if you like this stuff, consider subscribing. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think and what I could do better and what I did, what I did wrong. Well, don't matter to me. I always try to reply to my comments. It's a good way for me to find your channel too. Uh, Give me a big thumbs up and not the finger. And we'll see you on the next one.